Hey everyone, Gibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Signage Mod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich Alpha ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G. Very excited to be reviewing this ROM as I have been teasing you for a little while now. But before I start, I do want to give a shout out and thanks to the CM team for the Samsung Epic 4G. Big, big shout out to them, everyone involved in getting this for us, so make sure you thank them. Also, I do have a video showing how to install it. Definitely going to want to check that out. I go over some important stuff with this ROM. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. As I said, it's an alpha build, so there are some things not working. One of the main ones has to do with the newer version of Clockwork Mod. I go over that in the how-to video, so definitely be sure to check that video out. I'll link to it in the description. But pretty much everything is working. You got data working. You got... Um, text messaging working, calls working, MMS, picture messaging working, you have Wi-Fi working, so it's pretty much a daily driver. I believe GPS works as well. I can we'll, We can go ahead and test that during this video. But pretty much everything is working as well as WiMAX. So 4G works as well. Very exciting there that uh, they got everything working. So uh, camera will does work. It does have some issues here and there. So does video recording. So keep that in mind if you're trying those out. But let's go ahead and jump in. There's also some other little tedious bugs with the ROM. I will link to where you can find the official basically what works what what bugs what doesn't work so keep that in mind anyways let's go ahead and first start out with going to system settings i'm going to scroll down and as you can see i'm going to go to about phone and android version 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich right there signage mod version 9.0 rco epic mtd king so there we have it uh go ahead and you want a little tip quickly tap on the android version a bunch of times so really quickly Tap on it, brings up a little ice cream sandwich droid guy, press and hold on him, and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you got some flying ice cream sandwich guys. <laughs> so I know everyone likes that, so a nice little hidden Easter egg, thanks to Google. So I figured I'd show you, start out the video with that. Um, anyways, it does, it emulates a very stock ice cream sandwich experience. As you can see, you got the five icons down at the bottom with the app drawer button in the middle. You can go in between your apps. Uh, as well as widgets. Everything is running very smooth. I'm very excited to be running this. I specifically put my number just on this device so I could be running this. I will run it as a daily driver, so we'll see how everything goes. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and check up the status bar, up the theme. As you can see, stock ice cream sandwich uh, blue clock, as well as stock ice cream sandwich battery icon, and signal bars and data icon up there so you got those stock it looks like you have the one x 3g toggle I, of course i get, always get terrible 3g speed so showing one x up there let's go ahead and swipe down up at the top as you can see you've got your toggles your notification toggles that i know everyone loves you got your settings quick application there you can press that icon and it'll go to settings you can actually modify these i'll be going over that later the Back, uh, it's a little bit uh, see-through, but it does have a black tint to it. As you can see at the bottom, you got Sprint, and then the bottom of the notification bar. So obviously the very clean ice cream sandwich look that everyone knows and loves that it does have. Some other things that it does have, nice dialer, of course. I know everyone likes ice cream sandwich dialer. I do as well. It's very nice. I believe you can swipe in between the call logs, your dialer, as well as your contacts. You can swipe through those. I don't know if everyone knew that, but you can. Another thing I want to point out, let's go ahead and check out the lock screen, CRT screen off animation, as you can see. You got the lock screen. You can go to your camera. Oh, I'm getting a call, so I will be back. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, everyone. Anyways, with the lock screen, as I said, you got your camera shortcut as well as the unlock shortcut, so you got that, as well as something that not everyone remembers, but you can swipe down the notification bar while you're in your lock screen. So I know a lot of people will be like, oh, I don't like how there's no shortcut to the mess messaging application. Well, if you get a text message, just swipe down, tap on it, it'll go directly to your message. So keep that in mind. I always forget about it, to be honest. I always forget that you can do that, so figured I'd point that out for everyone. Another cool little feature of ice cream sandwich if you want to take a screenshot press and hold volume down and power button at the same time and you heard the camera noise there you go you got your screenshot so you've got those uh, that working for you as i said the camera does work so let's go ahead and take a picture of my keyboard so here we go let's go ahead and take a picture i pressed the camera button on the epic and it worked just fine as you can see press it halfway it'll focus Looks like it's not focusing, but no big deal because I'm not really holding that steady. Or it might just uh, always pop up red. I'm not sure yet. I'd have to go through some thorough testing. But that does work. As I said, camera working just fine. So no big deal with camera. 
Let's go ahead and go. As you can see, you got the nice uh, ice cream sandwich face beam wallpaper in the background. And when you take a screenshot, it's a screenshot captured. Another thing that people forget about is that you can swipe away a notification. So you can just swipe that away. If you had multiple ones and you only wanted to dismiss one or two of them, you can just swipe and it'll basically get rid of them. So you got that awesome option. You got all the ice cream sandwich applications. As I said, uh, the Gmail application is different. The messaging application is different. Pretty much the browser is different. Let's go ahead and try out the browser. I'm on my awesome One X 3G speeds, so hopefully Google won't take too long to load. <laughs> um, looks like it's taking its time loading. Let's go ahead and go home. Another thing I know everyone loves is press and hold on the home button, and you got your recent apps list and your running apps, obviously. So you got uh, all those going on, which I know everyone likes. So you can swipe away ones that you don't want running or you don't want in your list so you got those let's go ahead and go back to the browser looks like it's still loading as you can see i suffer from terrible data speeds but uh pinch zooming does work very well um you don't really get much lag at all nice ice cream sandwich keyboard i'll be going over that in a little bit i actually i'll be going over it now so let's go to the messaging application so start a new message uh the the slide out keyboard does work but keep in mind that the the uh, this keyboard doesn't go down for some reason when you open up the keyboard that's just a little annoying bug you can press the back button to drop it down so um, as i said the keyboard will stay open when you slide open the keyboard you can just press the back button on your keyboard and it'll drop it down so let's go ahead and text google so let's see uh four six six four five three and let's say hello google Whoop. So there we go. So let's text Google. And they should be replying. As you can see, you got the stock ice cream sandwich messaging application. So let's go ahead. There it goes. You also have those nice ice cream sandwich rotation animations, which everyone knows and loves. So let's see. Hopefully they respond. As you can see, you got more of the blocked text messaging style down at the bottom with a picture icon on the right side. All right, as you can see, sorry, hello, Google, did not return any results, of course, but there you have it. That is what the messaging application looks like. Also, with the on-screen keyboard, it's very nice. Definitely a keyboard you're going to want to check out. It's probably my favorite keyboard right now. The word prediction is great. Well, not word prediction, but the word correction is great. So if I wanted to say, hello, how are you doing today? I went really, really fast, and look, it worked. So there you have it. So the keyboard's really great. So definitely something that is nice with ice cream sandwich. Some other things I'm gonna go over, go to settings again, and you got some different options. Right here you got Wi-Fi. To turn it on, you can press this, or, and to go into your Wi-Fi settings, you actually have to press the Wi-Fi right there. So keep that in mind. I know it was kind of confusing for some people. They would think you'd turn it on and then a drop down bar would come through, but it doesn't. So once I turn it on, nothing's gonna drop down. You have to actually press on the Wi-Fi icon to get those the list of your Wi-Fi uh, networks to pop up. So keep that in mind. Same with Bluetooth data usage as well. Um, so that's just a heads up. You got some launcher options. Your home screens, I believe you can set the amount of home screens that you have, uh, whether you want the search bar to be on your home screen. So let's check off search bar. And there you go, it's gone. As you can see up at the top, no more search bar, which I know some people don't like having on there. I honestly could care less if it's there or not. So let's go over some other things with the launcher. Um, you got the drawer settings. So you got a transition effect if you want it. Uh, you also have dock settings, icons, general settings, being auto-rotate the screen. Uh, let's see, you also have themes. That's just a placeholder that will be coming soon enough. You have system settings, so you've got combined bar, which uh, has to do with the notification bar. You have the notification drawer where you can actually mess with the widget buttons up at the top of your notification. You have other options right there, So, and you can also change the order. So let's go ahead and check toggle airplane mode. It should show up, as you can see right there on the right side, and you can change the order of them. Just go to widget button order and you can mess with the order of them, just like Sign Mod 7. You will see some similar features. Lock screen, you can't change that yet. Um, it's just a placeholder. Font size, you can change. Wallpaper, you can change in those. You also have other performance settings, and it says proceed with caution, so definitely be careful in there. You can go to your processor. It says current CPU frequency, uh, CPU governor, minimum CPU frequency, maximum, which you can't change yet until we get um, more custom kernel you can overclock. I'll probably do a video once one becomes available. So you got those options once uh, we get custom kernel availability. 
other than that, that's that's really about it. Um, you got pretty much the same settings menu. It's just there. It's grouped differently. Things look a little different, but generally they're about the same. You got your blue over scroll glow at the bottom. If you guys did not see that er from earlier, but generally that's about it. You got your widgets right here in your app drawer, your 4G widget right there in case you want to turn on 4G because you can't have it in the notification toggle bar up there. Uh, you got a bunch of other scrollable widgets, resizable widgets, uh, so keep that in mind that those nice widgets are there that you can resize them as well. Let's go ahead and try and resize one. I believe you can, how about the bookmarks? Let's go ahead and put that on the home screen. So you got bookmarks right there. I should actually probably move it over to an empty home screen. So there we go. We got our bookmarks right here. Just press and hold on it, drop it back down, and you can, you'll can you see some dots all around it. You can, oh, let's try that again. You can just click and you can press on those dots and drag it down if you want to decrease it or increase it. You can also scroll through them. So there you have it. It's actually a really nice feature of Ice Cream Sandwich that I know everyone loves is the scrollable widgets. So there you have it. I believe your panoramic camera might actually work. That is something I kind of wanted to go over. So let's try it. It's not gonna, I'm only gonna do a really quick test. So let's, bottom right, you got video camera, panoramic view. I believe panoramic works. So basically, you, you press the go and then you move it around. I'm not gonna really do it. So you move it at a slow pace. It pretty much captures the entire image. And then it'll let you know if you're going too fast or whatnot. I'm, I'm out now of the camera trying to finish it up. You'll see a calculator and a, it says creating panorama. And there you have it. It's, it's, it's really a terrible picture because I was so fuzzy, but that's pretty much what it looks like. You got a calculator on the right side of my laptop as well as a printer. So it worked pretty well. I'm sure if I uh, basically held it steady and actually tried, it would work a lot better. So you got that nice uh, nice feature with the panoramic cameras. You can play around with that. Face and lock works, menu settings. Go down to security uh, right there, and then you go to lock screen, screen lock, and you got face unlock right there. I do have a video demonstrating that. I will link to that in the description of the video. But that's about it. That's all I'm going to be going over today on Science of Mod 9 on the Epic 4G. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the video below. Definitely want to hear from you guys what you think of this ROM. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.